Treatment of COVID-19 using Yuan Shi Dian. Case study. Male COVID-19 patient. Age 62. New York. January 4th, 2021. Day 1. I was diagnosed with COVID-19 on January 4th, 2021. I was required to quarantine. After I returned home, I moved to a separate room to isolate myself from my family. This happened just after I listened to Dr. Chang's lecture on COVID-19. I could apply what I learned. January 4th, 2021, COVID-19 test results came back positive. Yin Shidian Medicine tells us the causes of all diseases and illnesses are qi shang, bodily impairment, and heat energy deficiency. As long as you grasp these two points, the symptoms can be resolved. First, I prepared the following. Warmer, red bean bags, electric blanket, dried ginger slices, ginger powder, ginger powder oral and nasal spray bottle, massage stick, and enema applicator. I immediately put two warmers on my body because they can keep me warm throughout the night. I use the red bean bag to one full means to apply a warm compress to my head area. I began to spray my nose and throat frequently with a ginger powder. I drank plenty of ginger soup. There were also a small ball and a massage stick I normally use to untoy means to press and rub. In the afternoon, besides coughing, I had diarrhea. I immediately used ginger powder enema. After two enemas, the diarrhea stopped. In the evening, I felt chills, so I lay down on a large towel with three warmers adhered to it and covered the top of my body with a red bean bag. Two hours later, I switched to an electric blanket. Overnight, other than coughing, I immediately sprayed my throat with ginger powder, and there was improvement. January 5th, 2021, day two. I felt good when I got up in the morning. I self untoyed the head and upper back, yin shit in, with my massage stick and drank a lot of ginger soup. I only had diarrhea once and stopped it with a ginger powder enema. I had a headache, so I applied hot compress to the head yin shit in. In the evening, I used three warmers and a red bean bag to one full the upper and lower back and the head areas. The headache worsened late at night. One fu could help provide some relief, but the head still hurt all night. January 6, 2021, day three. When I woke up in the morning, I felt my stamina worsened. I lost my sense of taste and smell. I used ginger powder paste to untoy my head area. I had the symptom of mild diarrhea. I then used ginger powder enema. I applied ginger powder paste to the head and back in the evening before going to bed and a one full while I slept. Although I had bone pain in multiple areas and a slight fever at night, the effect of one full was very good. The bone pain was alleviated and the fever was gone. January 7th. 2021, day four. I woke up feeling okay. My stamina worsened, but the bones were not as painful. However, my appetite was not good. In the evening, I applied ginger powder paste to the head and back to one full. I still had bone pain in multiple areas at night. January 8th, 2021, day five. I woke up feeling better. My stamina recovered a bit. At noon, my bones were still aching. I used the red bean bag to one full for 20 minutes 
and the symptoms was relieved. I untoyed the head and back areas. In the evening, I applied hot compress. I sweat a lot throughout the night and changed clothes many times to keep dry. January 9th, 2021, day six. I woke up in the morning in good spirit and with good stamina. My appetite was good and I restored my sense of taste, but my sense of smell has not yet recovered. My body was relatively relaxed all day long. In the evening, I changed to one full, warm compress from hot compress. I was still coughing, so I continued to spray with ginger powder to enhance the heat energy. January 10th, 2021, day seven. I felt good all day. My appetite, spirit, and stamina were all good. I had a little cough during the day. In the next few days, except for the cough and that the sense of smell had not recovered, all other symptoms disappeared. My spirit and stamina recovered greatly. I continued to self untoy drank ginger soup, and kept exercising. I know I have to make good use of heat sources. When detrimental contributing factors combined with the causes of illnesses and symptoms appear, the body will consume a lot of heat energy. Therefore, I prepare the red bean bag, electric blanket, warmers, ginger slices, ginger powder, and nasal spray bottle. Next, I treated the symptoms accordingly. When I was coughing, head sore throat, and nasal congestion, I sprayed ginger powder at my throat and nose. I sprayed as many times as needed. I one fooled the head area for headaches and fever. Warmers were attached to the body 24 hours a day, one to two during the day, Three for sleep at night adhere to a large towel. Like a sandwich, I laid down on the towel and covered the top of my body with a red bean bag or electric blanket. In this way, headaches, fever, chills, bone pain, cough, nasal congestion, and various symptoms can be resolved. But the symptoms will recur and the same methods can be used. After several rounds of back and forth, there was a great deal of improvement. The biggest advantage was that I was able to maintain my stamina. Psychologically, one must relax, and no matter how things change, one must maintain a calm mind and cannot act with undue haste. In terms of exercise, I did those that were beneficial for breathing such as deep breathing, arm swings, chest expansions, sit-ups, push-ups, and more walking. I made use of the sun to shine on the back to increase the heat energy. I adopted a diet of a warm and hot nature. January 15, 2021, day 12. I went to recheck and the virus turned negative. In fact, I felt asymptomatic a few days ago because my stamina has already been restored. Testing was just an index and was not too meaningful. January 15, 2021, COVID-19 test results were negative. During the whole process, I did not take a single piece of Western medicine painkillers, or fever-inducing medication. I attended a lecture on the sequela of COVID-19. There were many patients who had contracted COVID-19 with various degrees of sequela, such as physical weakness, shortness of breath, chest pain, joint pain, and other long-term sequela. Western medicine did not seem to have a perfect treatment method among which a patient with a bent thumb and pain in the knuckles consulted the doctor as to what kind of treatment was available. 
the Western doctor told her that it isn't there yet because no one has had such a disease before. After the virus turned negative, I also had some sequelae, such as shortness of breath, cough, and weakness. Through one full untoy and exercise, I had returned to normal. The friend who got sick at the same time still suffered from shortness of breath, fatigue, and physical weakness. Another friend who got sick last year still had not recovered. I was very fortunate to be able to learn and apply Yenshiden medicine so that I could get through this in a relaxing way. I also used Yenshiden to treat my COVID-19. After seven days, my stamina was completely restored and the test showed negative. Also, there was no sequelae. Others were treated with Western medicine. Although their examinations were also negative, most of them had many post-COVID symptoms. Western medicine does not have the concept of heat energy and uses all cold treatment methods. This is the biggest difference between Yen Shidian and Western medicine treatment. Thank you to Yen Shidian and Dr. Chang. Yen Shidian treatment of post-COVID symptoms. One, untoy. Untoy the head and upper back yen shiden, principal switches. Number two, internal and external heat sources. One full the head and upper back, drink ginger soup and red ginseng soup to replenish heat energy. Number three, exercise. Some exercise include such as sit-ups, push-ups, walking, yoga, etc. Number four, good state of mind. Always maintain a good state of mind. Number five, adequate rest. Here's the statement from the patient. I live in New York and I am 62 years old this year. On January 4th, 2021, I was tested positive for COVID-19. The government told me that I need to quarantine at home or arrangement can be made for me to stay at a hotel to quarantine. I chose to quarantine at home. A few days before that, I had attended Dr. Chang's course on COVID-19. Dr. Chang said, all disease and illness are caused by T Xiang and heat energy deficiencies. To resolve disease and illness, one has to untwe the correspondent Yuan Shi Tong Dian, the tender points of Yuan Shi Dian, and enhance the replenishment of internal and external heat sources. When I got home, I adhere to warmers on my underclothes at my back. Plus, I have a slave cough and an itchy throat. I began to spray my nose and throat many times with ginger powder from the Yuan Shi Dian Center. The effect was very good every time, but sometimes they recurred. I will use the same treatment method each time. In the evening, I placed two warmers on the bed where my back would be at. The bed was covered with a large towel. I also placed a warmer on the pillow and covered it with a towel. I just lay on it and covered myself with a warm red bean bag on top. After two hours, I was switched to an electric blanket, which was separated by a towel in between. To apply this sandwich style one foo method to one foo, when it felt too hot, I would lower the temperature of the electric blanket. During the day, I would try my best to self entwe my head and upper back. Yuan Shi Tong Dian, and I drank a lot of ginger soup. 
In the first few days, my symptoms were headaches, fever, chills, bone pain, coughing, and poor stamina. I lost my sense of taste and smell and was suffering from diarrhea. When my diarrhea started, I used ginger powder, enema, and the effect was very good. Although the symptoms would recur, I would still use the same treatment methods of Antwe, Enema, One Fu to deal with all symptoms. Then I would take more rest and do more exercise to help me breathe smoothly. I maintained a positive attitude and avoided foods of a cold and cooling nature. One evening, a few days later, I sweated profusely and changed clothes many times. The next day, I recovered a lot of my mental and physical stamina. My appetite was good and my taste returned. I went to check again on January 15 and the results were negative. During this entire process, I did not take any Western medicine, including vitamins. Thank you to my friends, brothers, and sisters who helped me during this time. I am so grateful to Yuan Shidian and to Dr. Chang.